I have here a math curriculum for kindergartners that is fun, it's hands-on, it teaches real math, and it's not a workbook. I may have just found a curriculum unicorn, people. Welcome to Joyful Noise Learning. I'm Ashley and I've been homeschooling my three kids for the last seven years. I'm a curriculum researcher, junkie, and buyer, and I love making my biblically-based affordable homeschool fun for my kids. And I'd love to have you join along on this journey. I am so excited to share this curriculum with you. If you've been following me for a while, I did a Right Start Math review, and you can watch that here. But that was actually the first video that got me started doing my channel because there really wasn't a lot of reviews on Right Start Math, let alone good reviews out there. Now there's a quite a bit more better reviews, good quality reviews from homeschool moms these days. But this is a new curriculum that was created by Kate Snow and I'm excited to talk about this. So let's talk about kindergarten math with confidence. So this curriculum is newer to the market, but this was created by Kate Snow. She started out with the Math Facts That Stick series, and I've used the Addition Facts That Stick and the Subtraction Facts That Stick, and we really, really like them. I love her approach to teaching math. It's not overbearing, it's not drilling kill, and it's not a lot of fluff either. It's um, it's a good system on memorizing facts in, in a certain order, and she gives you strategies on how your kids can learn to memorize them. Because I think it's, some kids you can't, you just say it over and over, like, come on, three times three is nine, three times three is nine. But sometimes it's not about saying it over and over. It's about having a nice strategy for them to learn. Anyway, bottom line is I really enjoy Kate Snow, and she decided to make her own math curriculum. Um, she used to promote Right Start quite a bit, saying it was one of her favorites. And again, like I said, I have used that, but I'm really looking forward to hers because she made it really simple and really affordable to do. So um, I could even I could even show you the difference um, inside the Right Start Math uh, book versus the Kindergarten Math with Confidence. They both kind of follow a similar format. It's quite a bit easier to follow in Kate Snow's curriculum. Kate Snow is a math educator and a mom, and she also does really well at helping moms teach math. And it's especially helpful for me because math is not my strong suit, and I really wanted something that made it easy for me to help explain things to my child instead of just do it, just sit and do it. But like, hey, let's learn about math. Let's do this together. Uh, let's learn about real life math. Why is does this apply to what we're doing today? So just as an overview before I turn the camera around and we can look at it, it is hands-on, it's real life math, it's short lessons, and it's fun and engaging and gets the kids moving and just doing real life things, learning about numbers and how they interact with them. I also like that she recommends a book to read weekly with the kids that has a fun math concept that they can learn. Um, my son loves this actually. Uh, the other great thing about uh, Kindergarten Math with Confidence is it's affordable. I think I spent $40 total, maybe $37 when it was on a sale. You can get it at the Well-Trained Mind or you can have it on Amazon, but it's super affordable compared to some other math curriculums I've seen around. And then you would have to purchase your um, manipulatives separately, but they're really simple things that are you can get at the dollar store or you probably already have in your house already. Can you scoot over so we have a nice shot right here? Okay, let's see. How many is that? Five! Okay, good. Now watch. Okay. Okay, ready? How many? Five! How many? Four. How many? Three. Shh, don't yell. How many? One. How many? She even at the end of the book has an appendix where she shows ways you can make your own math cards or manipulatives that you need for your lessons. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have our books right here. It comes with an instructor's guide and the student workbook. So we're just going to look inside and take a peek. And we have the table of contents here and each of the units that um, that your child is going to go over. You can see here what they're doing. There's how to use this book. And it's really simple. It's not super colorful. As you can see, there's not a lot of color. Um, she even gives tips on how to create your math kit, which thankfully I had most of this on hand from our previous math curriculum. But if you are using this for the first time, uh, you'll want to get these uh, 
a hundred small counters. We have the counting bears or counting animals. Those work well, but they said you can even use Legos. Um, and let's see what else, like uh, dried beans work, plastic bears, yeah. Pattern blocks is the other thing she says you'll need. You'll need coins. You can use real or fake toy ones. And then two packs of index card to make your own um, card deck, or you could just use, yeah, you just need cards with numbers on them. Um, blank paper and pencils. So that's really all you're going to need. Um, and then she'll let you know as you go if there's anything else that, uh, like household items that you're going to need. At the beginning of each unit, she gives you an overview of what your child's gonna learn. And then she gives you an overview of each week here on this next page. So pretty clear, I love this. So at the beginning of each lesson, she'll tell you what your activity is and the materials you're gonna need. So right before you do your lesson, you run and go grab that material and say, oh, we need a race car and a plastic animal. Let's go grab that. And then just really quick, what page you're going to need for from the workbook. Not all lessons have a page in the workbook, but a lot of them do. So it goes into the activity. What I like about this, she doesn't start with being like, okay, sit at, sit at the table and draw on your workbook. Here it's like, can you hold up one finger? Oh, how many noses do I have? <laughs> can you point to your nose? I have one mouth. Can you point to your one mouth? Uh, can you clap your hands one time? So th she does this for each, um, the introduction for each lesson. She has the child, you know, jumping one time or jumping four times or balancing on two feet and one foot. So I really like that she has that in the introduction there for each lesson. Um, and then you do a quick little activity, uh, learning the concept, and then you write in the workbook. So weaving math into everyday life, she gives tips here. Um, those are really helpful. I also like math book of the week. She includes this and then she tells you which book you're going to get. And she tells you um, just a little summary of the book. So I've been doing this each week. I order this from my library and I pick it up and we sit down and read it sometime during when we're doing math. And I love, love, love this feature. Woo, here we go. Here's another lesson. So she uses the, um, the base 10, 10 frame is what it's called. We actually have an abacus, so I've been using the abacus, but you could easily use the 10 frame as well, um, which is in the back of the book right there. So you basically copy this or tear it out and then laminate it, um, and then you have it as well. So there's a pattern block template, so if you need your own pattern blocks, you can make your own here. So she uses, uh, again, you have the warm-up, or the review and the warm-up, uh, the activity, what you're doing in the workbook, and then you just do it. And then that is it. There's really only two to three pages per lesson, and then you're done. There. So here's another lesson. Sorting spoons. Which one doesn't belong? We've got shapes. Ooh, squares. Pattern block puzzles. So these, these are really fun and super simple to do. Okay, let's look inside the student workbook now. So this one she actually made in color. any questions, please let me know in the comments and you let me know what you think of how you want your child to learn math this year. Also, if you would like my favorite resources, in the description I have a free download that you can download that has all my favorite resources on how to teach kindergarten at home. Also, if you want another video, I have a full video on all the curriculum I chose to use with my kindergartner this year. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. There's four chickens? Okay, draw four underneath the chickens. I'm That's a bad Uh, close. It looks like this, Sunny.